Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com, and I'm here with False Icons. How you doing today? Good, thanks. Good to see you. So, I want to tell us a little about the band. Well, False Icons really is the culmination of my life work. Um, some of the early material uh, was put together in the mid to late 90s, but uh, it didn't really become a band until uh, 2002. Uh, Brian Brote and I, the keyboard player, started the band um, in, well, like I said, we, we had written the song False Icons in 1997. And, uh, and then ultimately started writing more material, but I was in Fear Factory and um, uh, that was taking up most of my time. But in between, um, uh, we were working on, uh, in my studio, um, putting together uh, this project. And uh, 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 we um, decided to call the, the band False Icons in 2002. And we wrote most of the uh, material uh, for the first album um, in that year and the, and the following year. Uh, and then ultimately, uh, uh, when I joined ministry, Al Jorgensen had uh, a label that he was putting together called 13th Planet, and he uh, decided to produce and release uh, the False Icons record, and um, that came out in the fall of 2008. It was recorded, well, mixed in his studio uh, in, um, in the end of 2007, and the album came out the following year. How often do you play live? False icons? Well, uh, we have not played, in, uh, other than uh, our most recent show um, last month, uh, in about two years, uh, because I've been so busy with ministry. Um, but uh, this year we were hoping to get things going again, and now we have uh, tonight, and then um, uh, next month, uh, Pittsburgh, Hershey, and uh, now we booked a show uh, in the fall because ministry became more active too so i'm trying to uh you know uh, working working around ministry schedule <laughs> much as I enjoyed playing with all these, you know, amazing bands, I also felt I had something, you know, that, that I wanted to do. And I, all, all my whole life, I wanted to do my own thing. So this is, you know, this is a pretty big thing. It, it's obviously not as big as the other bands, but uh, we've been working, you know, really hard and trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, build it up. And um, it's going to be, you know, my life work, you know. So it's a, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty um, important uh, thing for me. It's, 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 you know, something that I can call, you know, my own. Uh, whereas, you know, uh, most of the time, I'm just kind of like a contributing member or live member uh, 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 of a band. So this is something that, you know, I, I knew I had more to offer. You know, I, I play other instruments, I sing, I produce, and record. So it gave me an opportunity to really, you know, do my own thing. Cool. Now, do you have any new material in the works? Uh, we, um, we after the album, we did a five-song EP, which was not released, but we um, have been promoting and performing, and you know they're available online. Um, we're looking at perhaps uh, releasing that, but yes, we have some new material um, that we're working on and um, are hoping to uh, be released uh, be released uh, this this year, um, hopefully. Cool. Now, if people want to look you up online, find your music, how do they do that? Well, we have a Facebook page. Um, we uh, uh, some of our music is available online and through us. Um, so yeah, um, uh, that's the best way. Cool. What are a couple of the singles people can look up? Well, uh, right now. Um, uh, the material that would, you could find, um, like say online, would be from our uh, debut album. Uh, it's on Pandora, um, Spotify, iTunes. So you know, yeah, you can get any any of our songs um, uh, that way uh, from the first album. The 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 uh, uh, new material, um, we're not sure if we're going to self-release it or what we're going to do just yet, but uh, we're going to make it available uh, one way or another soon.
Awesome, awesome. Now, if you get the time, would you like to do a full U.S. tour with the project? Yeah, we've talked about it. We were supposed to support Lords of Acid um, in 2009, um, and uh, the day the tickets went on sale, they postponed the tour, and then um, they ended up, uh, it, didn't, it just didn't work out when they finally did uh, the tour that, that it didn't work out for us, but... Uh, we got offered um, a couple of other national tours. It's a lot. It's a big commitment because you know we all you know uh, have other obligations and work, and and so it's hard to just say. And you don't make a lot of money to just say, oh yeah, we're going to go out on a national tour, and you know. So, but we've done uh, an East Coast tour. We've been to Chicago. We've done all over. You know, New York, uh, Pennsylvania, Jersey, uh, D.C., uh, Baltimore, uh, Boston. Um, uh, Toronto, um, you know, we've been around, we, you know, we've been around, but we haven't been to the West Coast yet, um, or, uh, you know, say, to like, you know, Southwest or anything like that. So we would like to, um, to get to some of those areas um, sometime soon. Well, it's good talking with you and having you. Everyone look them up. <laughs>